Today we're going to learn about order release process in SAP production orders. The topics that we'll be covering today they are how to release a production order, order release function, definition and application of production scheduling profile, function of system and user status, and header and item status. Let us start with a business example. You will become familiar with the order release function. In this context, you will find out about the definition and application of production scheduling profiles to define business transactions to be executed in parallel. In addition, you will see how you can complement how you can complement the system status network for production order by defining user status. So basically, we'll, we'll look at the uh, different types of status we can maintain for the production uh, order. We can, we'll see that uh, what is a user status, what is a system status. Then we'll also talk about the production scheduling profile that is used to control a lot of automatic function within the say production order. So let us start first with the order release function. So like we have seen in the previous uh, videos that first of all in the production order cycle process what is will start with the order creation. So first of all we'll create a production order and then you what you do is you can do the capacity planning and then you will see the availability check to see if there's any shortage for the uh, bomb components and finally when we are happy that there's enough capacity planning there's enough stock available for the bomb components then we finally release the order and after releasing a lot of other processes will start for example printing of the say production order material withdrawal various processing steps confirmation of the production order and finally the goods received. So with regards to the order release process, uh, we have seen earlier that how you can release it at the header status. So there are two types of release which can happen in the production order. So first is the order release. So that is the order release at the header level of the production order. So let me show you this one again. So I've shown you before that like whenever you create an order by default, it will be in the created mode. For example, if I call up this order, so here you can see the status. See, this is CRTD. That means the current status is created. You can click on this I button. It will show you the status which is saying created. So if you want to release it, what you do is you click on this release button. Releasing means now we want to start the production. Releasing means then the next step will start unless you release the next or the following function can't, can't be executed. So if you want to release it, click on the release icon and system immediately will change the status. Here you can see it is saying I'm released. So that is a releasing of the complete production order. But there is another option to release the order which is at the release operation. That means you can also release an individual operation within the production order. That means if a production order has more than one operations for the work center, then you can say, okay, I want to release only the first operation. That means the first operation can be executed, can be processed with the next steps. However, second or the next steps can't be processed. Only the first step if you want to release. So here I'm going to show you. I will not save it, I'll go back. Will not save it, come back again. So that is it's still in the created mode. So go to the uh, operation overview and where you can see all the work center. For example, we have two work center here. So here the status is created, created. For example, if you release it here, if I go to the operation now, they will be released as well. So releasing at the header level will release everything, every operation. Let me go back and cancel it. I will not save it. Now still now come back to the created status. So go to the operation. Now this is saying I'm created. For example, you just want to release the first operation. So then what you need to do is to select the operation, 
and here um, go to operation and release if I select this one you can notice the status will change if I do that you can see the first operation status only changed still the second one is still created so that means first can be executed can be processed further but not the second one so that's how you do the release at header level or at the operation level but most likely in most of the business they release it at the header level directly now we'll talk about the status management now what is status management so as I just shown you the system has status so there are two types of status one is called system stat status second one is user status so let me show you so if I go back so let me call a different order so that's the old order if I go to status you can see this is saying I'm released I'm pre costed I'm adding the cost calculation batch assignment complete this and that whatever so these are the system status you can see this is saying I'm system status so system status are SAP automatic status that system will be automatically changing depending on what you're doing so if you're releasing it will automatically change to release and you can't control it this is automatic we can't touch it we can't change it we can't delete it okay that's automatic however to enhance the status SAP has provided us an uh, option with the status uh, user status so user status means my company will say okay we we manually want to create some statuses then here you can you can see this box these are the user status so here you can create some status for example you can manually create status like checks check check document documents are checked for example if somebody has checked the PRT they can check this one that means PRT is available done someone has checked the capacity they can check this box and they can save it so these are the stat uh, system uh, user status that we can customize that we can uh, change here but not the system status on the left hand side but the one on the right hand bottom side this one these can be checked or unchecked so these are the statuses so we'll talk about the customizing in a minute about the statuses so here in the screen you can see and they basically the this status this status basically coming from the profile so that's the profile at the bottom system is showing you the profile this profile is assigned to the order type in the customizing like we have seen in a previous video that how we can customize a new um, production order uh, type and you can assign this status profile to the production order type so that I'm going to show you now So if I go to SPRO slash O, it will open one more session. SAP reference IMG. Go to the um, production, then basic data. Shop flow control, not the basic data. Um, operation master data no, uh, order and define order type so here as I'm using PP01 you can assign the production order profile here so whatever profile is assigned here you can see that here so it's showing me the same profile here and this profile can be if I open this box this profile can be customized so here showing you four profiles only but I'm going to show you where these profiles are created if I go back go back define status profile open that and here the one profile that that is being used is PP something so that's a profile status profile production order so by default this is showing I'm DE that means the default language showing in 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 Germany if you want to see the English version of this one so select put the cursor on that go to translation profile translation and here language should be E in English now it will show you in the English sorry let me double click on it you need to first double click now it's showing you the German language now go to translation status translation 